and this is the astrological forecast for the sign of Pisces for May 2021 brought to you by the wonderful people at AskTheAnswer.com the UK's leading website for tower readers, psychics, mystics and channelers. Pisces, this is a bit of a confusing month. You've got no planets in your sign now apart from Neptune which has been there for nine years, ten years, and it's going to be there for another three or four years. But in the signs that directly affect you, there's a lot of action going on. Firstly, there's going to be a Mercury retrograde in Gemini, a sign that you've not got a great deal in common with. And this is going to really start engaging from about the 14th of May, May onwards. So if you want to do anything that involves... Uh, fresh starts and new beginnings, changes of plans, changes of schedules, then do it in the first two weeks of May because after that through to almost the end of June things might get messy and it would be difficult to get the clarity and the outcome you want without sort of major changes on the hoof. So you, you'll, you'll have to dance with it if you make changes after the middle of May. Best not to. Adds to this that there's also an eclipse of the moon in Sagittarius, opposite Gemini, again a sign that you've not got a great deal in common with. And it may be that as you get into the second half of this month, it'll be easy for other people unwittingly to, to push your buttons. And you could easily end up saying or doing something you might later regret, born of impatience and frustration with what you see as other people's lack of subtlety, tact or diplomacy. Basically, you're going to become a bit of a walking psychic sponge. So my advice is clear, especially as you get into the last 10 days of this month, back off, spend a bit more time on your own. Otherwise, there's a stronger than average chance of getting your buttons pushed. As far as May 2021 goes, Pisces, do your best to have a quiet month.